Because I'm like, all right, is the 5,000 a part of your name or is that a part of, is that the crew? What's, what's going on with the 5,000 at the end of your name? Now, 5,000 is um, like a nickname. It's just um, it was a amount of money that I made when I was younger. And I just thought it was cool to put them on with the So you made some money. You made 5,000 when you were younger. Yeah. And you just stuck with it. You just, you told everybody you made 5,000. So they was calling me Cash and then I was listening to a Jadakiss song. I think it was um, on the DJ Drama album and he said throw away burners so originally I just had cash and then I added the burner and then 5,000 just stuck out for me I just remember that amount of money I made when I was younger so I just added it to it all right cool so I, I, I was looking at some of your Instagram and I seen a lot going on I seen you up there with Drewski and I seen you with Todd Boogie I saw you up there with uh, this is 50 set then um, I seen you had a project out right now. Yeah, on um, 5,000. So the name of the project is 5,000 okay. too. That's the um, fourth project. It's my fourth, that's my fourth. Your fourth joint. Yeah. So are you considered this an album or is it a mixtape? Um, the album's all original music. You know what I mean? It was an album. Um, that was like part of my name. It was my body of work. I think that's the realest project I made and my best project so far. Just from top to bottom, it's storytelling. It's my life all rolled into like 13 songs. 13 joints. 13 original joints 13, at that. Yeah, 13 original joints. Alright, cool. Alright. So look, I, I know you I know you already probably like well, sent two records up here, you're gonna get two records on. I actually have one of your songs on my playlist. Playlist, I think it was playlist two. Yeah, yeah. I had one of your records up there. That was the Roselle joint. Yeah, the Roselle Sunshine. So what was the inspiration behind the Roselle Sunshine? Um I I, I was born in Elizabeth, but I was raised in Roselle and all my life just being out there. I just wanted to bring some positivity to the city. I think a lot of people in Roselle get it. I think a lot of people get Roselle twisted. It's, it's more to Roselle than just a lot of what's going on out there. You know, we got the gang street shit and then, you know, we got a lot of, I feel like a lot of negativity. I just wanted to bring a lot of positive lights. Certain people don't get along with each other. So that's record is just for the city. But Roselle is a small town, relatively speaking, right? Yeah. Because from the outside looking in, some people think Roselle is suburbs. Because if you're moving from Elizabeth, from North, from Irvington, whatever, you're like, yo, I'm, I'm moving on up. I'm in Roselle now. Nah, that's far from, like, it's, don't get me wrong. So is it a good, is it a good side and a bad side? Good, good and bad. You know I mean? It's got its good days and it's got its negative days, you know. You know, so I'm trying to represent the positive side of Roselle. I don't want to be like anybody else that's um, represent. I'm not talking about for my city, but I just don't want to be stereotypical. Mm -hmm. I don't want to talk about the same things everybody else talk about. So I always try to be unique and I try to be different with what I'm I remember life. back in the day, people used to commit a crime in Roselle and run to Linden. <laughs> and then the Roselle cops couldn't chase you, but now they got the joint squad where they don't care where you're going. You can, you can go from Linden to Roselle and they following you now. Yeah, exactly. It's crazy. You know what I mean? We had people got killed out there. Um, there's people that got shot out there. So, you know, it's, you know, I love my city. You know what I mean? I love it. And I just want to be a good representation for my city. Do we have Roselle Sunshine? Do we, what records have we got over there? So can, can we get in, because we already teasing it, we might as well go ahead and play the Roselle Sunshine joint now, and then we can get back to talking about what's going on with that album. Yeah. Let's get into that Roselle Sunshine. You want to intro it? Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, hey, intro it. Hey, yo, Roselle Sunshine, man, featuring Hassan, The Nod, produced by Dream Life Beats. All right, let's get to it. Thing that heavy hit DJ Wild Live Nonfiction Radio Tuesday night, eight o'clock. We got Cash Burner Five Thousand yeah, in good. the building. That was one of the records off your project. It's out right now. That's called Roselle Sunshine. It's actually talking about the positive things behind Roselle because you know there's a lot of everybody always glorify the negative things that go on in their hood. You know, guns, drugs, strippers, prostitutes, all that. But you actually was talking about positive things going on. Yeah, definitely. Is that something that um, you look for in music? Do you are you into positive music, or you just listen to everything? Like, how do you feel about the current state of hip hop right I think, now? I think the current state of hip hop. I think I think people that got content, I think it gets overlooked, and I think a lot of people they want to listen to the negative side. I think the negative side is glorified. Not to say nothing's wrong because all my music is not positive neither, because I've been through real shit. But I feel like the content doesn't get praised that much as a lot of the negative things. Mm -hmm. right? Because we, we have this discussion all the time um, about even the, the, the rapper's names nowadays is negative. Like, is a rapper Lil little, little Xan? I don't know, like Xanax. Like he, <laughs> they're naming themselves after drugs. Yeah. So what do we expect to, to hear from them, you know? Exactly. So um, it's like, do the, do the positive rappers, do the positive message get overlooked? You just said that, but it seemed like it's, it's definitely the truth right now. Um, but I don't want to put you in a box because you can rap about something. <laughs> 
crazy. Yeah. I seen you in a strip club on Instagram, so yeah. you can't sit here and say you nah, know, nah, nah, anything's nah, positive. Nah, 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 I saw you, you was in, um, <laughs> you was in one of the bougies. You was in Taboo. That's a bougie <laughs> strip club. <laughs> they, they, don't even, they don't even have too many black girls in there. Nah, man, but the food in Taboo was five star, though. Facts. They got yeah. steak, lobster, shrimp, all of They got some... I think the food looks better than the bitch. <laughs> <laughs> nah, they got some Vegas uh, chicks in there, man. Shout out to all, all the beautiful women I know in there, man. Yeah, I mean, all right, you might know somebody. That's how you okay, you know somebody in there. It's all good. Man. So, what's up with this project, though? Walk me through it. How, what's the process like making an album like this? That album, actually, I took like three, I want to say like two to three months to work on it. Um, I just really took a lot of from my life. Like I said, I think it's the best project I made. Like, Rosanna. I was dealing with a real relationship that I went through, the um, girl I was dealing with. And we actually shot a video for that. Um, shout out to Juju and shout out to my boy Jeff. That he was in the video and everything. So that record was talking about my relationships. I got music notes just talking about stuff. No, because my real name is Ashley. So I went through a time period when I was growing up in school getting picked on. Oh, you got a girl name and I'm getting kicked out of school. I, I went the same path because I ended up getting kicked out of Union Catholic. Um, fighting every day, getting suspended because people was picking on me. So. I talked about that in music notes and then it went into dark skin African American just talking about black culture, the black history of us as a people and trying to move forward. Um, you know, I was actually doing it for the people that was locked up in jail because I've been to jail before too. I've been through a lot of different shit so I just made music just to represent them, like to uplift them because I think a lot of people make music to keep those people, that keep the people mind state in the jail system so when people are coming home they just want to be negative. They want to go, my nephew's locked up right now so he, you know, he's been doing business ever since he was 16. So when I rap, I want him to, when he gets out, I want him to be positive. I want him to, you know, do the right things. Cause I don't want, I told him, you don't want to give your, your whole life to this white man system. Yeah, you don't want to get out of jail just to go back in. It seems like it's like a revolving door. They come in for a little, or they come out for a little while. Yeah, exactly. And they just count down until they go right back in there again. Family members locked up, um, cousins. And that's what I said, and not even me being locked up, like, I was going through my time period from, like, when I was, like, 26, 27, like, 0, 13, 0, 14, in and out, behind it, like, my shit wasn't, like, serious, but it was serious because I was in there, um, behind my girl, my ex-girl and everything, but being around different gang members in the jail, being around different people, like, I was, I came in there with a person that had just raped a girl, and just seeing all that, and going through that experience, I said, you know what, if I ever get a second opportunity, in my life, I'm going to change my life around, start being around different people, start being around, you know, things that are going to be beneficial to me moving forward in life, because I don't want to go back to that situation. I don't wish that shit on nobody. Even my worst enemy, I'm jelly for nobody. <laughs> it's not for nobody. So my music and my album is that 5,000 album, just everything in this. Real. Now look, that's not even the first album you put out last year. That You said you dropped that in December, but you said you had another project that you dropped the same year. Yeah, in the summertime, Smile Moon. That was just... Fun vibe, energy. I went, it actually got inspired because I went to the Dominican Republic. So that whole album was just inspired by Dominican. You know, I got a record called One. I one. heard about DR. Yeah. See, look, you see, we got Dominican back to get. <laughs> I heard about DR. I mean, I ain't gonna ask you what happened in DR, yeah. but I heard about DR. Stay in DR. What, happened, yeah. what, what, what you doing in DR stays in DR. Yeah, exactly. But you didn't, you made a whole album about it. So yeah, obviously, it's just you just talk. Tropical Vacation, that record was just about being on the beach. So. Seeing like being because the first time I actually been on a plane and been anywhere was Dominican Republic overseas. Like my first time on a plane was going out the country, and I just did that like last year. Damn. Uh, first time on a plane, you just bounced. Yeah, I didn't have that much money growing up as a kid, but I said, you know, let me start doing it now. You know, <laughs> All right. a, little, a little bit more for myself. Walk me through a typical studio session with you. Do you have the beat already? Do you have something written down already? Are you going in there from scratch? I usually write my records before I take it to the studio. I don't want to waste no time. Um, you know, sometimes I've done that one time, like going in the studio and writing on the spot. But I usually take most of my music there with me. I already got the beat. I already got my concert written, everything. So I'm not going to let it down. Okay. So that's most of the process I use for my project. Is that is that because it's just saving time, saving money? You don't want to waste no time, or that's just something you prefer? You prefer to write in your own zone? Yeah, my own zone. Like I don't really like. I don't know for some reason I don't like writing in the studio. I, I don't know. I just don't. I just like writing, I usually write in the crib. I get ideas riding around in the car, maybe going to the club, maybe going to dinner. Just maybe reading a book, I get different inspirations and everything, and I just write, and then I just take it to the studio. All right. I know we have another record right here, so um, 
I don't even know what's the second record. I don't know what the second record. Yeah. I'm, I'm about to hear it for the first time too. Mm -hmm. What's the second record we got? Oh, that's Red Skies, man. Featuring my boy, uh, Mugga Boy, man. He from the Bronx, man. Shout out to Mugga, man. You know, so, Alright, so you got people from the Bronx, you got, you born in Elizabeth, raised in Roselle, and you got people from the Bronx. Yeah. What's the connection? What's going on? I met um, Mugga, it was to an old um, acquaintance, and me and Mugga got cool, and we just started doing music. And um, this is actually our second record, and this was actually out of the record we did the first time. Because I improved as an artist, and he improved as an artist, so this is the record that we ended up doing. And he sent it to me, we already had the hook laid and everything, and I just wrote my verse music. And everything, so you know, it came out good. You know, I like the record. You know, you know what's crazy about it? I thought that was gonna be the record DJ Juski liked the most because it was, I, I, you know, I, he told me, you know, I could do those type of records, but he also said that he likes the storytelling records for me. But it was nothing wrong with the record. He just felt like it was too simple. But in my opinion, I thought that's what the DJs wanted. Like, you want the simple records to play in the club and mm -hmm. everything like that. So I like it though. You know, I see my most stream. I guess record. I'm about to hear it for the first time. So and it's my most streamed record on the album. Is the, the irony of it? You know, it tells you like which stream is the most and what charts that record is the most. The most streaming off the five thousand. So what's the name of the record again? Red Skies. Man. Red Skies. All right, we got Cash Burner 5000 in the building, DJ Wildlife, Now Fiction Radio. Red Skies is the record we about to hear right now. Red Skies, oh, this is the one, this, so this is the one that everybody wants to hear when they, when they stream. Okay, let's get into that record right now. Red Skies. The next big thing to have you here to DJ Wildlife, Now Fiction Radio every Tuesday night right here. We got Cash Burner 5000 in the building right now. Um, I've been taking my notes now. I gotta make sure we cover everything before you get about it because I know you got a lot to do. I know you got a lot going on. Uh, I ain't gonna uh, talk about it. I, yeah. it, seems, it seems like you're real secretive. Like you don't want people to know certain things going on. No, no, nah, nah, I'm just it's I'm not a that. person, man. I just um, I always was taught like coming up to kid, just be respectful and be humble wherever you go. I'm not a big headed type of person. I'm like really cool type of dude, man. Like I show love to anybody. Look, one thing I always say about nonfiction radio, this ain't this, this ain't the place for being humble, man. You can fuck being humble. <laughs> you gotta say this shit with your chest out, man. Say it with your chest. Talk right. your shit. Like, alright, so what's some of your inspirations then? Are you inspired by some of the the more uh modest rap or are you are you inspired by some of that? Yeah, I, 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 grew, I, I grew up off Tupac, Snoop Dogg, Dog Pound, and then as I grew on uh, Red Man, fifty cent. Naughty by nature. Um, basically, anybody that's doing anything in Jersey. I met Albie out too. Albie out definitely an inspiration. Like seeing where he came from, seeing what, seeing where he came from, and like he definitely like out of, out of everybody, he's one of the most people that definitely inspires me. Like, I, I, like after everything he's been through, just to see how he's shining out here for the state, man. Definitely, Albie out is definitely one of my favorite people. My favorite. Artist. I got a chance to meet him when I was um, in Elizabeth when he was shooting that loving it video, and then I got a chance to go to the Hot 97. Show they had a dope chase when mm -hmm. they performed all day that day. So, no, it's definitely an inspiration. Man. Is that one of the platforms you look forward to being on? One of them Hot 97, who's next, showcases? Oh, no, definitely, man. I, I want to do it all, man. Any opportunity, any um, chance I get to do something to show my talent is definitely something I want to do. And I overheard you saying it's a possibility. There's a chance that something might be in the works with Safari. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't hear the details. I didn't hear the, the exact details. But what's going on with that? I mean, shout out on the GQ. GQ worked with Safari. He's done. Who, now who's GQ? He's a DJ from um, New York, All right. from Staten Island. He's done a lot of work with Safari as far as DJing for. Actually, he came out on his birthday party. He brought him out for his birthday party. So he was talking about him doing a headline Safari. Safari headline and me opening it up and actually possibly maybe doing a record with him and everything in the summer. Like around June, July, so if everything goes to plan and the way, you know, I'll be doing that. So that's I'm keeping my fingers crossed with that one. Cause that's definitely dope. You know what I mean? Shout out to Safari. You know what I mean? GQ. Yeah, you know, it's, there's another saying. My bad. I don't want to hear you with sayings and all that. But you got to make it happen, man. You yeah. make it happen. God yeah. laugh at those that make plans, man. Yeah. <laughs> Just make it happen. Nah, exactly. I'm gonna make it happen. Nah, Just definitely. We're gonna make that happen. Put that in the air, man. That's yeah. all. Shout out to Ray Swag, too, man. Appreciate the opportunity. Um, everybody at Nonfiction Radio. Wala. Oh, yeah. Been knowing Wala. Um, oh, yeah. Been hearing his name. Like, I got to you know, meet you. Tell, you can tell him where you met me. Yeah, you met me two places. Name me two angels, places. Angels, exactly. Strip club. You in a lot of strip clubs, man. <laughs> You the all the music is too. A hole in the wall strip club, too. <laughs> I heard you ain't popping if you ain't out there, man. <laughs> Yo, man. Angels and exotics. Yeah. I don't know. You probably got to see me. Neither one of them. All right, I ain't going to talk about it. I'm going to be there. I've been hearing your name since I was a teenager, man. That's... You're making me feel old. Don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. But, yo, 
for people that want to um, that listen to some of your music, probably see some of your videos. I know you got a video you about to drop soon, right? Yeah, Destination on featuring Brianna Mars. She's actually um, um, she written for Keisha Cole, Miller J. She's actually Grammy nominated um artist. She's on the hook, so and that's produced by Dream Life. He's from London, so that's going to be a big record. And the video is looking crazy. You know, what I mean, shout out to my boy J Star for um, filming it. My man's on um, um, Moolah. Out here. He's in the video too, so that's coming up too. So where can they find you? Can they can they get everything, all information on your social media? Can they click links and bios to take them to videos or to the to the album? Yes, they can. Um, so all right, spit out the social media. I'm Instagram Cash Runner Five Thousand, um, Facebook Cash Runner Five Thousand. Um, I'm everyone on Apple Music, Spotify, t um, Tidal, Pandora, all the major platforms. I got all my albums up there. So if you if you go to any major platform and type in Cash Burner Five Thousand, you're gonna be the only. Cash run of 5,000, right? Cash run of 5,000. Oh, I'm original, man. I'm copycat out, man. We from Jersey, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, look, I want to thank you for coming to Nonfiction, man. Um, I'm pretty sure they're going to keep the songs in rotation up here. You're already on the playlist. I know you got more records that you're about to start releasing off the project as singles. So, you just got to make sure we, we stay in contact. Oh, stay in touch. Out, man. I want to come out with you. Yo, you popping, man. I want to come out with one of your, your sets, man. Everywhere, man. Don't nobody be at the club when I want to say. Everywhere, man. Don't nobody be at the club yet when I want to say. You know, I'll be in and out the club like a robbery. <laughs> be in and out. Nah, well, I shout out to you, man. I appreciate it, man. For real. Um, Nonfiction Radio, Ray Swag. Awesome. Everybody out there that um, put this thing. Everybody, man. I appreciate you. No doubt. Nonfiction Radio, DJ Wildlife, every Tuesday night. Once again, thanks to Cash Runner 5000 stopping by tonight. Make sure you go to his Instagram page, click the link to his bio, check out his album. Look out for his new video about to uh, drop. Do you have a date on when you're going to release that? We'll drop it like next week. Next week. So, all right, just, just tune into his page. Like, check it, check up, check up on him every couple hours to make sure and see what's going Shout on. Shout out to H2. They're going to be on your playlist, man. Shout out to them so much. Shout out to everybody that support me, everybody from Rosetta that's making out music. Shout out to everybody in Jersey, man. Everybody that's doing it out here in Jersey, man. They're making the state look good. And um, the, fourth, the people that came before us and the people that came after, and I'm definitely going to be one of them artists that's going to put on out here, man, for, in a good way, and I'm going to shine out here, man. All right. Cash Burner, I appreciate you coming through. Nonfiction Radio, we out. See y'all next week. Salute. Boom.